Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Aquarius. My battery's dead, so I got enough light. Guys, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius, I think you might be having some angry, violent differences with somebody. There might be some nasty text messages flying back and forth. Um... You could be, this could be your energy. I kind of feel like it is. I feel like you've received some kind of bad news. And it has to do with you uh, personally. It has something to do with a personal situation where you feel like you have extreme differences with somebody. Now, uh, with this card, the Knight of Swords Upright, we could have you dealing with another Aquarius. It could be a Libra or a Gemini. We have the Hermit card here. And I feel like this is something where you may have decided, listen, I'm going to take a break to gain some kind of uh, perspective on a situation I'm going to draw withdraw from this matter um, you also start to realize during this time and this is uh, Virgo energy here so you some of you I actually see Virgo here a little bit I see Virgo I see Gemini um, I feel like with you guys you may have taken some time back and withdrawn from a situation so you could gain perspective you also start to realize that and this is very specific the spirit can't talk to you when you are distracted by all these other energies around you and whatever it is you're running from. So you run and you take some time to retreat and you start to gain wisdom. And I think that you go on a more spiritual path to get answers that you need. And I think that you start to understand that in silence is when you get messages. Okay. And that's what I think you're in right now. The next energy here talks about you having really stagnant energy and you could be sitting around. Like, um, I'm not suggesting that. You know, you're lazy, but this is a card of, uh, it's typically a card of happiness, right? So there could be some extreme lows with hum with money. You could be trying to start a business or some, so some kind of a charity, Aquarius. Um, and it says that you could just be like sitting around. So you're being advised that if you're just kind of sitting around, maybe some of you guys are retired. Maybe some of you guys are in between jobs. You're being advised that if you were just like sitting around casually, you may want to Start a business. This might be the time for you to start something that could end up being really successful, really lucrative. We have the Six of Wands reversed here. Now, there's something that you wanted and that you were wishing for that has been delayed. This is a situation that you don't have any control over, and that might be why you're stagnant. I really feel like some of you guys could be in between jobs um, or newly retired or you're trying to figure it out, whatever this is to you. But I kind of feel like here that you, and if we really look at this, you wanted something that is delayed. I feel like you were holding off with somebody. I feel like you may have experienced betrayal with somebody here that you're running from. I feel like this person may have betrayed you. Okay? And because this person betrayed you, you experienced something that you didn't necessarily trust. I feel like you're in hermit mode with the Six of Wands. This is the Six of Wands reverse. I feel like if you look at these two cards together, it talks about somebody trying to gain some kind of perspective. And also here, this card kind of talks about you experiencing some kind of betrayal that leads you to, how can I explain it? It kind of leads you to reevaluate yourself. Kind of like a, why did this happen to me? Or this wouldn't have happened if, kind of just like assessing what happened. So that's what you do during this time. Uh, we have the lover's card. So there's some need to heal from a situation. We kind of figured that, right? When you look at these two cards and running from somebody to gain perspective, um, I feel like there are loads with money at this time. There's something having to do with where you are. Maybe you're typically on the up and up with the money, and for some reason there's a low. You start reflecting on who you are in this situation. Ultimately, we have the lover's card. A need to heal from some temporary hiccup or a long-term relationship where somebody ran. Okay, let's see. Tell me... Tell me what happened with the Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, give me some more information, please. I need to pull out the other ones. You don't heat up. These guys. Yeah. Energy, please. Energy, please, for Knight of Swords. You give me some more information on this situation, some clarity. Who we see here, um, I definitely see Gemini. I see Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But we also have Virgo Heavy here with the Hermit cards. Some of you guys could be specifically, um, I guess, dealing with a Hermit, well, a Virgo, or a Gemini. Or maybe you were. Mm, okay, soulmates. 
Soul Connection Partnership Agreement Soul Contract. I think you guys are questioning whether or not this is your soulmate. Tell me more. Self-absorbed narcissist. It was a one-sided relationship. I'm trying to figure out. Making healthy choices. This person is still trying to uh, make healthy choices. Or I believe this is your energy. Making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love. Self-care. Being happier. So I think that's why you go into hermit mode. See, what I'm seeing is a reaction to something. Let me see if I can actually get what the fight was about. Or the arguments or the text messages that are nasty and coming through. What is this about? What is this about? Give me more information, please. I think I understand that um, Aquarius is questioning something about a soulmate, self-absorbed narcissist. But you ran. I think you may have ran from an air sign. It looks like love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love thinking about you and letting you know okay so this person is going to contact you if you needed to know that somebody's gonna contact you this person I guess oh engagement reverse partnership commitment eternity completion union it's reversed okay that tells me a little bit more all right so you guys were well I guess you guys were you are the lovers Somebody stepped away from maybe uh, 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 a committed long-term relationship. And the cards do say that here. That it could have been a friendship or something having to do with somebody that you had some business with. Or this is love. I believe this is love. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspect. And okay. So we do see with the Hermit card next to the Six of Wands reverse that there's some heavy reflection going on about your... You know, about what happened in this relationship, what happened internally with you, what role did I play? Kind of like that. So I feel like at one point you were working in tandem with somebody. And I think maybe you're still trying to get there because I do see you guys thinking of each other. I didn't know it was going to turn. I still don't understand self indulgence. Focus on self, self work, time to heal, shadow work. Okay, I see, I see you guys doing work. Okay, I didn't know this was going to turn into a full-blown love-love, but whoever this is. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we need to know. I'll just pull one of these. Give me the overall energy for Aquarius, I guess, in their person, whoever this is. Aquarius in their person, please. Ooh. Make the effort. It's reversed. Mm. But make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Awesome. Okay, so maybe you guys are thinking about, well, you and whoever. I don't know who this is. Getting back together, you and your person. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I'll be putting out more readings later. Love you. Bye.